Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to isolate a color in a video clip using Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I downloaded this one video clip from the Pexels website. I'll put a link to that in the YouTube description. Let's open up Adobe Premiere and we drag and drop that video clip onto the timeline. You can use any video clip um, but I suggest maybe you try and use this one first to get an understanding and then you can change it and switch it around, switch it around for a different clip. I'm going to click on the clip, right click and unlink it because I want to delete the audio and I want to scrub across this timeline until the bus disappears from the clip, right? So this bus, we want to isolate this big bus here. Uh, let's go to around here on this frame right here, uh, which is seven seconds and six frames. I'm going to click here and use the cut tool to cut the video clip and then delete this. So we're going to work with this piece of content here. Let's zoom in a little bit so we can see it a bit clearer. And let's scrub across the timeline to around this position where we can see the bus clearly. I want to use the effects tools here. So I'm going to type in a leave and I want to use the leave color. So I'm going to drag and drop that onto the video clip here. So we see inside here, inside the effects controls, if you don't see that, go to windows and select effects controls. And inside here, we've got a few different options. I'm going to click on the eyedropper tool, hold down the control key and then click on the bus and that will select that red color. And from the match colors, I want to set it to hue. And then we're going to cre increase the um, amount to D color, right? So we'll increase that. Let's just set it at 100%. We can still see the red bus here and we can see a few other objects like the little orange on the car and stuff like this. So it's picking colors out, but we want to isolate this bus, right, from this scene. So what we'll do is we'll take the um, mask here. So we're going to click on this square mask and we can see the mask inside the the um, the video clip here. So I'm going to move the mask over the bus here. I want to go to the very, very first frame and just go forward one or two frames just so I can just about see the bus. And then I'm going to grab this mask and I want to mask out the bus only. So let's just drag this mask around the bus. Really want to try and get it as close to the bus as possible, just roughly around it like this. And then we want to animate this mask. So let's go ahead and click on the mask path here so we've got a keyframe right here and we're going to scrub forward a few frames and we'll click back on the um the mask here so we can see it so here we can see the mask and the bus is still covered so we're good at this point let's move forward a few more frames and we can see we need to move the mask a little bit so let's just grab these handles and just move it around the bus uh, this is pretty good here and we're just trying to avoid this bus here these little signs anything that's red apart from the bus so we're just going to isolate that using this mask we'll move forward a few more frames to around here we can just grab this mask and move it let's just move it to the top here and then we'll just stretch it out a little bit more around the sides here and we'll keep going forward and we'll keep remasking uh, as we go along we might have to tidy this up a little bit but in general this should work work out pretty well and we'll just grab and drag around the edges so we're just going to mask this all off like this and you see people carrying red bags and stuff we want to isolate that away by using this mask let's just drag this so it takes a little bit of time it's not you know if you had someone standing still then you probably wouldn't need to or if you've got a scene where there's not much red in it apart from the object then you don't need to mask this all off uh, we want to get rid of the red on this bus and the people standing and the signs and stuff like this um, but you know you can if your if your object that you're isolating is very still then you can just create a static mask you don't need to keyframe the mask like this as well it depends on your scene really but we'll just uh, keyframe this out like this and we might need to slightly adjust this afterwards but we'll check it uh, as we go along but normally this works out pretty well let's just drag this down here we don't need to worry about like the shadows of the bus it's really the red elements that we're trying to uh, mask off right we drag this here so i'm doing this every few keyframes and adobe will fill in the gaps for me right for the other keyframes if you if you make a mistake and rotate by accident just press ctrl z to undo um, and then you can just repin this over here like this. 
don't worry about it. if you make a mistake just press ctrl z to undo that so at this point the bus is really off the top of the scene and we want to be able to look at our handles at the top here so let's zoom out to 25 percent and now we can see the handles at the top we can just drag them a little bit and it's a bit easier to control when you can see all the four handles um, we can drag this out slightly here let's move across and we'll drag that mask across a little bit we're almost done and this is how I would do this I'm sure there's other ways to do this but this way you can be very accurate if we do, if we didn't mind that we you know the red on the bus and the red on the people if you didn't mind that you wouldn't need to create this mask you can just you know not bother but um, I thought I'd show you how to do it this way because I think you get a bit more control and a bit more understanding so that's most important so we move across we can just grab now our mask and move it, move it to the side as we move along um, here so around here should be good I see a few problems that we need to fix as well but we'll fix them in a moment so on this one I really want to try and get as close to the edge of the bus as possible like really close to the edge at the back of the bus because as we move along um, you're going to see like red in the background on some of these objects the people are wearing red and the signs and stuff in the background here like you can see this person wearing red here right so let's move back a few frames drag this across and this will isolate that person away as we do this we're almost done let's just go a few more frames hopefully our mask will turn out pretty good And that's it, a couple more frames at the end. And I think we're done. Let's go to the very last end frame. That's it, we're pretty good here. So that's our mask. Really what we've done is just tracked this bus using this mask. And we want to isolate that bus. As we scrub through these keyframes, we just want to make sure we only see the bus. And as we get closer here, we can see some problems here. So let's just adjust... Um, inside here let us adjust the uh, amount to decolor let's just see i think it will be our edge softness we need to bring that up a little bit and we can tweak these settings in a moment just to make sure we're isolating the bus only probably a smart move is to move to a point like this and this will be you can see red here you can see red on the bus this will be a good position to to test let's go back to fit the window let's just save this work for the moment okay let's go over to the effects section here and we want to add one more effect which is going to be a color balance so let's type in color balance and we're going to take the color balance hls and drag and drop that onto the video clip as well so now we have some more options down here and what we want to do is copy the mask we're going to select this mask right click and copy it and then we're going to click on this color balance here and we're going to right click and paste the mask and all we want to do is invert the mask we want the opposite so we're we're basically selecting the, for the color balance we're selecting everything outside of our original mask so we're isolating the bus on this here where we're picking the color right we're leaving the red color and then on the color balance we're isolating everything apart from the bus and then all we want to do is invert it right so have the opposite and then we just bring down the saturation now you can see all the objects around the bus are grayscaled, including this bus here, which was originally red. As we bring up the color, we can see that it turns back to red again. Uh, if we move it here, you'll see people are red. Everything is red around here. But as we bring down the saturation to minus 100, the bus is isolated on its own. So you can apply this effect. And as we move past the bus, because we um, had our mask set up correctly, we can see the people are not really showing with their red clothes behind the bus as well as it moves past so you can then go and tweak the settings up here you can play around with uh, the amount of color to leave the tolerance you can experiment with the tolerance and see how that will affect the scene and the amount of color to leave as well so this is for you to now go and experiment with uh, normally the edge softness probably set that up quite high in fact you can probably set these all to maximum 
and I think you're going to get a good result from that because the bus is isolated by this mask so it's not going to affect the rest of the scene so let's just give that a quick play and we'll have a look and that looks pretty good um, I would say maybe you know I can see like the color coming through here so let's um, try and bring down that tolerance because if it's too high our mask is actually showing content from this window here in the background we don't want that so let's bring down the tolerance uh, a bit and maybe bring down the softness here a bit and I think that will work out a lot better let's just move forward and see what the bus looks like from the side that looks pretty good on the side here so I think that's a better option so tweak the um, the tolerance in the edge here um, the softness the edge softness and the tolerance to make sure that the mask is not showing like color from the windows in the background there and we're pretty much done so you can apply this effect to pretty much anything it works best when you're using something that's quite a solid color right so when you've got something that's quite a solid color it's going to work out a little bit better um but if it's um you know something with lots and lots of colors inside of it it's not going to work out so well this particular technique so we may look at some other techniques later um let's just see if we can uh let's see let's just bring this down a bit i think that's going to be a pretty good result there yeah, so I'm leaving it around 33%. That seems to work out pretty well for us. So that's how you go about isolating uh, a particular object or a particular color using Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Let's go ahead and save our work. Let's minimize this, close this window. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.